and he began to beg him. Matthew declared that he fell down and he worshiped him. Amen. Luke declares that he fell down before Jesus. And when he fell down before Jesus, he began to beg him. And here's what the man said to Jesus. Lord have mercy. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hear what the man said to Jesus. Y'all want to know what he said? You wouldn't follow me when I was reading. I know you. Hear what the man said to Jesus. He said, Lord, if thy will. Now, he knew Sister Williams. Amen. That Jesus could heal him. But the problem that he was not sure of. If Jesus would heal him. So here's what he said to Jesus. If thy will. Thy can you make me clean. Hallelujah God. Now it's amazing what Jesus did at that time. The Bible said that Jesus stretched out his hand. And he did something that was against the law. That most people would have been afraid to come in his presence. But the Bible said that Jesus stretched out his hand. This is why it's so important for you to get in the presence of God.
may be online watching. If you're in this room right now and you need a touch from the Lord, maybe there's something going on in your life, amen, that only God can handle. You can come up right now and receive that touch. How do you know he's standing right here ready right now to touch you? Amen. Even those that are watching via Facebook, you're sitting on your couch, you're in your living room, you're in your kitchen, and you need a touch from the Lord, God will touch you right now, right where you are. Do I have a witness in the house? If you need it and you hear it, come right on up. If you're watching us, I just want you to prepare, ready your heart to receive the touch of God.